Dana, welcome. Uh, I, I got to start off asking, we've seen a big drop in interest in and the value of metaverse real estate, uh, interest in NFTs. What has to happen in metaverse shopping so it doesn't suffer the same fate? I think one of the elements of metaverse shopping, and first of all, thank you very much for, ha for having me, is the amount of dollars that brands and retailers are contributing to the platform. I think everyone wants a piece of the Gen Z and millennial consumer who account for 43% of the population. And I think we're only going to see more of these brands devote more dollars. It's very much in the early phase, but wherever consumer conversion is happening, they want to be there. Do there need to be connections to the real world and physical goods? I mean, my kids, they spend time in Minecraft. They don't really do Roblox and they do Fortnite and whatnot, but they, they actually have developed buyer's remorse over the years saying, I can't believe I spent that much on V-Bucks. Now they want stuff like clothes, right? So um, will smart retailers make those connections or is the future in making sure that, you know, people feel like there's value in digital goods alone? I think that the interoperability of having a physical store and a metaverse presence, I don't think it is either or. I think it's going to be both. And I think the best brands out there are going to be able to adopt that connectivity so that you do have a physical footprint that also uses social media and the metaverse as almost advertisement tools in order to gain awareness. Building your block of customers is key to the metaverse in the future and key to the growth of brands. Here's another thing that I wonder about, and it has to do with costs. Is the future a, meti a metaverse or is it a multiverse? In other words, is there going to be one environment where you know these brands can focus on building one beautiful version of that bag or that shoe and it transfers across Roblox and other games? Or are you going to have to figure out which game to make assets for, and are you gonna have to have engineers and artists that are doing customizations for all these platforms? Because that's a big cost issue, isn't it? That would be a huge cost issue. I think it's a multiverse. I like the way you frame that, rather than just a metaverse. I think all of the players, and we've seen it from Estee Lauder, from Gucci, and many of the others, are first experimenting to see what works. And I think given that we're in the first iteration, we're gonna see connectivity in that multiverse come to the forefront over the next few years. So who benefits now, whether it's tool makers, whether it's, you know, marketing focused companies, or who are these retailers going to have to go to at this stage to prepare for whatever the future holds? I think, frankly, when you look at who retailers are hiring and who brands are hiring, it basically is marketing technology ex experts. That, I think, is what's going to differentiate because also it's not only differentiating for the metaverse, but it basically is holistically bringing your brand to the forefront. It can't be either or. It's got to be both in this new world of consumer conversion that is called the metaverse or the multiverse. All right. We'll see if App Lovin and Unity and Adobe and the likes get a piece of that money. Dana Telsey, thank you. Thank you.